We mentioned the White House Coronavirus Task Force briefings, which were an everyday staple of our lives a couple of months back. Briefing returned today. The president wasn't there at the briefing. What are we to make of that? I think that is certainly something worth noting. Uh, you know, the president had been told by his advisors back in May and April to that these were not helping him to avoid them. And uh, we're sort of back to where we were in the beginning, where they're sending the vice president out there. I think holding one of these is an acknowledgement that the administration has is accepting the problem, despite the vice president continuing to characterize these as isolated outbreaks in certain communities, not mentioning the fact that these communities he's talking about have millions and millions of people in them. Um, you know, the you can see the fine line that he is trying to walk between uh, masks and trying to uphold this idea that it's a, an individual's choice whether to wear a mask or whether to go to the rally. Uh, but within the White House and the president's outer circle, they understand the seriousness of this situation they are in. Um, months ago, I remember a White House official telling me the worst case scenario would be if we open our economy and then have to pull back and close it again, like we are seeing in Florida and Texas. Uh, the advisors, the political strategists here realize how damaging this is to a key narrative they were hoping to sell going into the fall of a great American comeback story and a president who has led the country through a crisis. Well, Susan, right. This does seem like the, the message we were hearing from the president, obviously, even as this virus was taking hold, it was the idea of getting the country reopened quickly, having, you know, calling it a comeback, the idea of you know, getting things going again. And that sobering message coming out of that task force briefing today seems to be, at least right now, at odds with the message the president has been trying to convey. You know, I thought that briefing today was kind of two briefings in one. You had Anthony Fauci pleading with Americans to do things like wear a mask and feel an obligation to fellow citizens to try to get this virus under control. And then you had Vice President Pence unwilling even to say the word mask, despite a couple questions that reporters posed to him, putting the, the shiniest possible spin on the numbers that we're seeing coming out. You know, uh, it, this hurts the president's narrative of a comeback. It also has big consequences for the economy. It makes it hard to envision millions of kids going back to school in three months. If kids can't go back to school, can their parents go back to work? And in a situation like this, is this a political landscape in which an incumbent president gets reelected in November? I think that's a very tough uh, I think that's a very tough situation that the president faces right now. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.